Hi, welcome to the LRC South. My name's Maureen and today I'm going to show you how to use the binding machine. The first thing we're going to do is decide the size of the plastic binding cone that we want to use. And you decide the size based on the number of pages that you're binding. You can look right in the cabinet below the binding machine to find the different plastic cones. I'm selecting a half inch cone today. There are different stickers on each of the boxes that indicate the number of pages that will fit into the binding cone. Next, we're going to place the plastic binding cone onto the vertical cone. The thing that's important to remember as you do that is you want the loops, the openings, to be facing towards you and the spine of the cone will face towards the wall. You'll take the comb and you'll simply place it down on the vertical cone. The next thing you'll do is you're going to pull the lever towards you, but you only have to pull it enough that it opens the comb up so that you can put the pages on. You don't have to pull the lever all the way towards you, just enough to open it up. Set the edge guide based on the size of the paper that you'll be binding today. We're going to set ours at 11 inch letter paper. The punch button is located right here and this is the button you'll push when you're ready to put the holes in the pages. There are a few important things to remember as you prepare to punch your holes into your pages. One is you want to make sure that all of the pages line up properly together and that the edges line up together. In this instance we laminated the cover the other pages are not laminated. We want to make sure after laminating that we trim that cover page right to the edge of the paper so that it matches up with all the other pages. Another thing you want to do is you want to punch about five pages at a time. That way you're sure that the punch goes through neatly and you don't jam the punch. Now we're ready to punch the binding holes into our pages. Again, we're going to make sure everything is lined up. We're going to slide the pages in and we're going to push them right up against the edge guide. And then we're going to punch. After we do that, keep those pages together and now you're going to slide them onto the comb that you opened. And then you move on to the next set of pages. After you've placed all the pages onto the binding comb and you're ready to close your booklet up, you simply take the lever and push it towards the wall gently and then you lift up your booklet and you're finished. Now you know how to use the binding machine and you're ready to make booklets of your own.